All right, so what's your name, brother? Kelly Coleman. Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is Abel. Abel. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So let's find out, hold this, give me uh, uh, one first one, Deuteronomy one first one. Let's find out who Moses is talking to, all right? Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? U Israel. Or oh, Israel, not who? U Israel. So not the Nigerians, not the so-called Africans, but who? U Israel. So go back to uh, chapter 28 and verse 15. So Moses is talking to who? U Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Mm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the children of Israel if they will not listen to the voice, meaning apply his commandments read what would happen to him to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes mm -hmm. which i command thee this day mm -hmm. that all these curses what all these curses so, what's your name again kelly, kelly. uh curses translate to what to, to good things or bad things certainly no no it's not good it's, it's a bad, bad, right? bad thing, yeah so moses is telling the children of israel that all these bad things these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee you see that so bad things would come upon the children of Israel. So we now we're going to identify who the children of Israel are. All right, go to chapter um, chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. Just just quick to the point. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So who was the audience again? Oh, Kelly. Eh? Who was the audience again? The Israelites. Moses, the He's Israelites, still talking to the Israelites. Yeah. So read again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord shall bring the Israelites again into Egypt with ships. With ships. But remember, I just told you prior before this, right? The children of Israel made the exodus out of Egypt by foot. Correct? So now Moses is telling them, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt with ships. Hmm. Let's find out the definition of Egypt in the Bible. Give me that in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. The Bible is just like um, um, a big puzzle, right? Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the what? Out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Kelly, bondage translates to what? Uh, suffering. And? Uh, difficulties. Slavery. Slavery. Yes, bondage. Slavery. Read again, officer. I am the Lord thy God, mm. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm. out of the house of bondage. Remember, the children of Israel were in bondage under the Egyptians, right? Yeah. So go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God is going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt, meaning into slavery, into bondage again. How? with ships which people went into cargo slave ships kelly yeah, yeah. that's a so-called black people right yes of course yeah. read by the way whereof i spake unto thee uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again so the same way moses told us prophesied for us the same way it happened what more than 400 years ago right 1619 1492 right read and there uh -huh. ye shall be sold unto your enemies so once you come from these slave ships you're going to be sold unto your enemies not your friends not your brethren unto your enemies read for bond men uh -huh. and bond women so for slave men and slave women read and who saved us who saved us, who saved us out of slavery out of bondage if you're talking about Moses or Jesus Christ. no 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 hey hey now you're, now you're touching something very hard but <laughs> who ever saved the black man out of slavery Slavery. Yeah, who, sla who saved us? To me, it's Jesus that saved me. No one. Eh? Noah. Oh, sorry. Noah. Noah? Did no. you say Noah? No, who, sa who saved the so-called black man out of slavery in 1419, 1619? I don't know. You don't know? No man, right? So let's see what the Bible says. And no man shall buy you. You see that? No man was able to save us out of this condition. Michael, Malcolm X tried. Sojourner Truth, uh, who else we had? We had uh, Boney, we had Tula, right? All these black... Uh, 
exactly all these uh, Tula, right? All these black leaders try to save us out of bondage, but the Bible says what? And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. So now I want to touch on something happy what you said, because you said Jesus Christ. Give me Luke 168. The only one who can save us out of these oppressive conditions is Jesus Christ. Read. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, of all nations. Of Israel. The God of the Bible is the God of the who? Of Israel. Israel. He's the God of the Israelites. You're Pentecostal and you never know that this Bible is only pertaining to you. Read. For he have visited and redeemed his people. So he's going to visit and redeem, meaning save his people. Read. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That's Jesus Christ. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Read. That we. That who? That we. The Israelites should be saved from, who? from our enemies we have to be saved from our enemies our enemies the same enemies who sold us into slavery on cargo slave ships who brought us here in london in bristol uh, amsterdam rotterdam the caribbean read and from the hand of all that hate us and from the hand of all the raiders read to perform the mercy promised to our fathers so brother Daniel, can I have your attention? So do you understand what the Bible says? We was brought into slavery on ships, and the only one who can save us out of these conditions is who? Now it's Jesus Christ. So my question, my next question is, do you know how Jesus Christ looks? How he looks? Yes. Which picture, which image do which image do the churches portray? We see the image of a white man there. Oh sorry. We see the image of a white man there. You see the, that, the image of the white of man the white there. Man, right? Yeah. In all churches, right? Yeah. All media, right? Especially in Catholic churches. Okay. So let's find out. Give me first give me John 738, officer. Let's see what the Bible says. Because the churches indeed portrayed a false image. So let's see what Jesus Christ says. John 738. The book of the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me, mm -hmm. as the scripture have said. The scripture says what? As the scripture have said. So the Bible says we have to believe on Christ as the scripture has said. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Meaning what you will have understanding of the scriptures. So let's go to the image of Christ in the Bible. Read. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, mm -hmm. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, so let's deal with the first part. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So if you have the fly die, right? Yeah. Can, you, can you turn it? Can you turn it? The, fr the front with the image. Yes, okay. So can you describe what the book of Revelation is saying? I said that the, the head uh -huh. is white as snow, uh -huh. and uh, that's it. Read again, officer. His head and his hairs were white like snow. Like Sorry, wool. were white like wool. So the, the that means what? The hair on top of his head and the hair on his face were white like wool. So my question again is, which people on the planet Earth have woolly textured hair? The black man. The who? The black man. So, but why do they portray a white man with stringy hair in the churches? I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Let's go to the prophecy. Why were the eyes of Christ as a flame of fire? Why? Was, why? was eyes like a flame of fire? Yeah. I don't know what why. Do you think? What was Christ's first miracle? His first miracle was yes. turning water into wine. Turning water into wine, okay? So let's read the prophecy that Moses gave. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. His eyes shall be red with wine. See the prophecy that Moses gave about Christ? The Messiah is going to have eyes red with wine, meaning like a flame of fire. The same prophecy we're reading in the book of Revelation. Let's go back. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Mm. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet uh -huh. like unto fine 
Bro. So this, so John is looking at the feet of Christ. So he's looking down on the top of his feet. So when I look, when I see your feet, right? The top of your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, correct? It doesn't change, correct? So what is the color again? And his feet, like unto fine brass. What's the color of brass? I haven't seen brass, brass. Color of, I haven't seen brass before. Brass, brass is a derivative of brown. Uh, I haven't right? seen it before, I haven't seen it before. I, have seen, I, haven't, I haven't seen color of brass before. Brass is a derivative of brown, like copper. Like copper. Yes, like copper. Okay. Okay, read. Let's see how dark. As if they burned in a furnace. So then, um, Daniel was it again, right? Kelly. Kelly, sorry. My bad. My bad. So, Kelly, question. Anything you burn in a furnace, what, what color does it turn in? Let's say you burn uh, rice. Rice. Huh? Then it's going to turn like brownish. Brownish. Let's say you burn this white paper. This white paper now. It's going to turn to ash. What is the color? It's going to turn? Ash. Black. Anything you burn turns black. black. Okay, okay. So, what is the color of Christ in the Bible? Black. You can say it loud. It's 2022, you can say it loud. It, it, it shows black, isn't it? He's a black man according to the Bible, correct. He's a black man according to the Bible. Now, now we have established that, right? We have established that that Christ is a so-called. I see you're amazed. I see you're amazed. But can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? What's your age? I'm 54. 54. And after 54 years, you find out that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's what. Well, that's what people say. That's what people say. And that's what you say now. And that's what the Bible says. All praises, all praises. Read John 7, 28 again for me. And then after that, uh, John 8, 32. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said. Stop. So, you see what Christ the Black Messiah is saying? You have to believe on him as the scripture has said. So, what's going to happen to you now you understand... And you acknowledge that Jesus Christ is a black man according to the scriptures. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Meaning what? Understanding will come to you. And we're going to show you how you're going to get understanding of the scriptures. But first this. Read. John chapter 8 verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth shall make you free. What's the truth? That Jesus Christ is a so-called black man according to the scriptures. And that we are the biblical Israelites. That's the truth. That's going to set you free. So now let's show you how you get understanding, all right? Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we have to start fearing God to get wisdom. Yeah, that's Psalms, 111 verse 10. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. Uh -huh have all they that do his commandments. So, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta go. Kelly's my name. Kelly's, Kelly, sorry, my, my bad. This flyer is for you. So, you, we have to do the commandments. So, can I give you one commandment? Give me the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. One commandment for you to go, all right? Remember what the scripture says, right? Yes. David says, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So, we have to start applying the commandments in our life so understanding won't leave us. You understand that? Okay, read what you have. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Remember the image of Christ, right? Read. They shall not make baldness upon their head. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So meaning what? We cannot shave our head with a razor. We can trim it. That's what the scripture says. There was the, the, not with a razor. You can trim it with a, um, how you, with a clipper, right? With a clipper you can trim it, but we cannot put a knife to our head. Those were Egyptian customs. Uh -huh, come on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So the next thing is we cannot shave off our beards. Remember the image of Christ. Yeah. I shave every day, bro. But remember a good understanding have all day that what? That, that what? That what? That what? 
a good understanding. Have all they that, that what? That fear the Lord. That do the commandment, that, right? Yeah, yes. So do you want to have the understanding of the Bible? But I don't look at my beards, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> This brother. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.